From the previous lecture, we created the workspace and the package. Now it's time to start working with nodes. Very basic thing of ROS, but fundamental thing that most of the people don't understand the way it should be understood. Most of the communication for a robot simulation is happening on the nodes from the sensors and from cloud everywhere. But what do people lack? Let's explore in this lecture. We will be covering understanding ROS nodes, understanding ROS topics, these two things. And let's start with very basic ROS simulation that is turtle sim simulation. If I open up uh, ROS run turtle sim and turtle sim node, you don't need to understand what I just wrote. Let me just give you an idea what it is a ROS command to run nodes only not launch file not services nodes only ROS run turtle sim is the name of the package and turtle sim node is the node that we are going to be running so in our scenario if I had to run a node from my package I would write ROS1 robot package and then the name of the node but currently we don't have that after understanding the basics of nodes we will be creating our own nodes so let's run this you are going to see this 2d simulation in ROS a lot of things are open source so you need to be good at understanding what you have and get every information you can about what you are working with so we have to get information about this simulation that is running the first thing is get information about the nodes ROS node if I press tab it tells me about the things that I can do I'm going to go with info and what is the node that I'm going to get info about that one that I just ran turtle sim let's, let's run it so this is the basic thing that provides information uh, to us about the node that you are running turtle sim is the node and it says uh, it is actually publishing color sensor value something like that the pose value and the subscription of this is command velocity so there are two important things inside of nodes publisher subscriber when we will be creating our own publisher subscriber it will get more clear but for now for now just understand it listener or uh, subscriber is the one that takes information publisher or the talker gives information so publisher gives subscriber listens there are services as well but we will explore in the services section and some other things that we are not interested in right now so publications and subscriptions are important to us right now so let's further dig them down so now for the communication part ross topic and the commands we have a lot of things we are interested in list for now to get all of the list of topics we have we are currently interested in command velocity so ROS topic I'm going to get information about this topic and that is command velocity and it's not like that it is turtle one command velocity you can see it tells me further about uh, this topic and that is geometric message twist and there is no publisher of this but there is subscriber of it in ROS uh, let's directly create a publisher for this specific topic in one line that is very useful to test things so ROS topic I'm going to pub mean publishing and number of messages I want to uh, send I just want to send one message or let's remove this ROS topic publish on which topic I have I want to publish turtle one command velocity and press tab it automatically completes the data type and it completes the message so I want to publish x value of one let's say just I'm uh, doing it for the sake of understanding press one you are going to see the turtle move so what actually happened this is the most important thing you have to focus on when you are working with nodes you got information about this specific topic the information about the node is dividing into three parts first one is is this node a publisher subscriber the second one is what is the type of data it is using the third what is the frequency let's leave the third one publishing type what is the message it is using so message is geometric message twist we are going to utilize it when we are going to be creating our own nodes but for now the type is this so 
what are the other types we are given with ross topic info about what were the other topics press tab it provides you the list of topics color sensor information of the color sensor and then ross topic info of command velocity here you can see color sensor is having a different data type and command velocity is having a different data type so let's take a look on a different angle of looking at a node and that is what are the nodes communicating with each other for that i am going to run another node ross run a turtle sim turtle i think pressing tab what are the other nodes tally of key so it opens up a keyboard a sort of a controller i press arrow keys and you can see the turtle is moving so obviously with this terminal and the turtle sim there is some sort of communication happening and that's what you have to think about what is that communication it is going to be informed us through rqt graph rqt graph is a gui tool that tells us about which nodes is communicating with another so turtle sim is a simulation that we are looking at turtle teleop is another node that i run you can see this arrow coming out of turtle teleop so this is turtle teleop turtle is the publisher turtle sim is the subscriber and this is the topic on which they are communicating publisher subscriber okay but still let's get more information about it ross topic list ross topic info about turtle one command velocity press enter and you can see now there is this publisher and this is the subscriber you can see it is providing my address if i'm accessing through network i can easily get through what ip address and port number it is using so publisher and subscriber of uh, this topic so topic is in between barrier of publishing subscribing nodes and this is what you uh, should be very careful about so let's move on to creating your own publisher subscriber it is going to be really interesting